the vomiter in chief got arrested for selling coochie, I mean ecstasy. And Tzatziki clarifies why she fought Jelly Bean on Baddie's Caribbean. Apparently that was the hoe that was standing next to her man on Bad vs. Wild. And the girl speaks out, baby. Let's talk about it. Child, so Suki Anna, baby, she got arrested for not selling what we think she usually sells, but for selling substances, honey, that make you feel good. I'm not gonna lie, this is a cute mugshot. You can always tell when somebody's rich and can bail themselves out. They're smiling because they don't care. But let's read this article from Yahoo Entertainment so we can get more details on the matter. Love & Hip Hop Miami star and rapper Sukiana was arrested Thursday, according to a report from the North Lauderdale Police Department. The reality star born Destiny Henderson was charged with possession and intent to sell MDMA and coding, Broward County Sheriff's Office records say. Henderson, who was rumored to be dating fellow rapper Ray J, can be seen sporting orange hair in her smiling mugshot. The 32-year-old Delaware native was held on $7,500 bond at the Paul Rain Detention Facility in Pompano Beach. It is unclear if she's been released. Oh, well, we all know she released child. $7,500 ain't nothing to that hoe. That's why she's smiling. But my question is, why the fuck is she selling that shit? She doesn't have to do it. She has love and hip hop money. She has her music money. She has her Instagram thought fashion Nova money. And she has her Zeus money. And Zeus money pays good. Why is she like, I don't understand why she's doing that. Well, I was watching Funky Dineva. Um, earlier today and apparently Ray J is known for being a you know a pusher okay so people think that maybe Suki Ana took the fall for him or you know was doing stuff for him because they might be dating I don't know but Suki Ana, please please don't be taking this man's charges honey you got kids and that is trifling as fuck now let's get to Tzatziki Baby and Jelly Bean. So on the trailer for Baddies Caribbean, Tzatziki was seen fighting somebody real bad. And um, I'm not gonna show the clip because it's, it's violence, okay? But she, you know, in her fashion, ate. And Tzatziki explained why. Apparently Jelly Bean is the woman who was standing next to Tzatziki's man on Bad vs. Wild. And Tzatziki was about to get knuck if you buck on that hoe. She was standing right from my neck. All right, all right, That's welcome ladies now. Yeah. We go, we go. Puerto Rican princess, Miss Jocelyn. You, you want to be a star, I'll make you a star. Jocelyn. Okay, so that was who she was talking to. I believe she fought her after that. That's kind of whack. You're getting mad at someone to the point of fighting them because she was standing next to your man at a crowded studio audience to tape a show. Like, that's some bullshit. Well, Tzatziki wanted to clarify why she fought her. Tzatziki says, For the people in the back, women can stand next to my man, but to be told to stand next to my man for a storyline is calling for an eat session. Be smart, not weird. Okay, but like, even if that's true, that Zeus was being messy, be like, oh, stand next to Tzatziki's man, and you know, we'll put you on Baddie's Caribbean. And she stood next to your man, and she didn't do nothing with him. Why does she deserve to get beat up by you, and why are you mad? Well, Jelly Bean responded and told us her side of the story. Nobody told me anything like that. I stood there to see because a lot of tall people were blocking the view. Plus, cameraman was pushing us back the opposite way so they can film Glow and the other VIP couch. People was talking, mingling, drinks was rolling through, etc. I didn't even know who anyone up there was. Never even had a discussion about me being on a show at that time. It was never brought up or asked from me. Chef D is my close friend, and we were all there kicking it in Vegas. And to be honest, I'm not feeling none of this. All this shit seemed like a setup. Shit sad for real. I don't like it. I done survived guns and other traumatic experiences at 13 years old and then 10 years in prison from a teenager. I don't need a storyline. I'm a story in itself. It was to show people that no matter what they go through, keep going. And I said the same thing at Lenny party when I thanked him and Nat for the opportunity. My audition was edited. I actually did speak my piece and was asked to step back off the judges stage to repeat it. And that was the only quote unquote time that I ever asked them for anything. It's never that deep for me to do something like that. Should be crazy. <laughs> Damn, she spent 10 years in prison? Oh my God, that's a long time. What did she do? So yeah, Jelly Bean is denying the whole thing and saying that it was just a crowded set where everybody was standing around and close together and the cameramen were trying to get shots and it was just very cramped. And the video evidence shows that. I don't know, Tzatziki, this seems like bullshit. But we also have to remember, she's related to Krishan, okay? And they got that crazy gene in them where they like will just go crazy for a man even though that man disrespects them on the daily. I mean, I'm not saying that Tzatziki's man disrespects her because I don't know. But I did hear that her man is her sister's ex. 
which is very weird and bizarre. See, that's what I'm saying. These Malone hoes, they be fucking up their whole family dynamics over a man. But y'all, what do you think about the Vomiter and Chief getting arrested, honey? And what do you think about Tzatziki fighting Jellybean all because she stood next to her man on a crowded filming set? Comment down below.